In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Grammarly in Microsoft Word. How can you use the Grammarly effectively in the Microsoft Word? So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. Well, before I tell you the link from where you can download the Grammarly add-on for the Microsoft Word, let me show you once it is installed, how would you use it? Now, I have a Microsoft Word document opened. Uh, once the Grammarly installed, uh, you would be able to see the this icon of open grammarly towards the extreme right on the home tab S similarly you would also see a grammarly tab uh, at the end of the uh, all the tabs so in both cases whether you click this open grammarly or you click this tab you would open a task pane towards the right side where the grammarly would give you the suggestions how to you can improve your document task pane you would see this multiple options uh, within this grammarly tab while the first one is open or close the grammarly but the second one is important which is the adjusting the goals and within the goals uh, you need to specify the kind of an audience you are uh, targeting whether it is a general audience it is knowledgeable or an expert audience so the grammarly would accordingly help you to uh, suggest the synonyms and correct the sentences according to your audience Similarly, it will also ask you to set the tone of the document, whether it is formal, whether it is informal or a neutral. You can mention uh, by clicking these radio tabs over here. And lastly, there is a domain in which the options are academic, business, general, technical, casual and creative. And okay, now let me write a sentence and let's see how the Grammarly is going to assist us in writing. I am going to intentionally write few things incorrect so that I would see that whether the Grammarly helps us in uh, the spelling and grammar issues or not. Now you can see that as I have written my sentence, it has also underlined the issues similarly towards the right side, it has uh, uh, giving me the options like the first one which is upon it is telling me that the spellings are incorrect i can simply click this green option and it is going to change this one and over here i can click or i can go here and click this one and these two words were since uh, not separated by a space so it has given a space in between them here again there is a spelling issue the lazy now see that the over here it is suggesting me to add a comma after the time so i'm just going to click this comma and here it is again telling me that i should add an article uh, and it has suggested me that i should uh, add d before lazy so i'm just going to do that so this is how the uh, grammarly is going to assess you within the microsoft word document and now i'm going to tell you that for how and from where you can download the grammarly for uh, microsoft word you can download the grammarly add-on for microsoft word from the grammarly homepage. i'm going to give you the link of this home page just click the first link which is given in the description below which will take you to this page first of all tell you to you can add this extension to the chrome by adding the extension to the Chrome, you can use the Grammarly everywhere you type within your browser, where, whether you are updating your uh, statuses on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or whether you are writing an email. However, if you want to download uh, the, this add-on Grammarly for the Microsoft Word, you need to just scroll down this and go to the end of this page. and towards the bottom left you would see the products and in here you would see grammarly for ms office you need to click that and then you will get this option of get it free for windows you can just click this save the file that's a very small file of 14 mb we'll just wait for this to download and then i'm going to show you how you can install that Grammarly has been installed. Open Microsoft Word and if it is your first time it will ask you to uh, sign into the Grammarly. You can sign into Grammarly with uh, the 
google account or you can add your email address and once you are signed in then you are all set to use the grammarly in microsoft word so this is how you can add the grammarly in microsoft word and this is how you can use it if you want to use all the features of the grammarly then you will have to buy this premium account and so if you buy the uh, premium account then these features of engagement delivery and the plagiarism checker would be available right in within the microsoft word thank you for watching this video till the end if you like this video hit the like button share and subscribe